Today we're going to learn to set waypoints and navigate using the Garmin Striker 4 Fish Finder. The first thing we're going to do is navigate down to the waypoint map. Now we're going to talk about a few things on this screen. On this screen you'll see indication for our current bearing, current GPS speed, our heading, and the depth of the water. Also located on this screen is your indication for zoom and pan along with any waypoints. Now let's talk about our zoom and pan. In order to use the zoom or pan you'll see that zoom is the up and down arrow keys on our keypad. Also the pan is going to be our left and right. Let's start with the zoom. To zoom out all you do is press down as you can see as we zoom further and further out our total zoom distance is changing in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Also more waypoints are becoming visible. Now we're going to use our left and right buttons to pan. When we pan a X with a circle around it appears on the screen. We can use this to select a waypoint that may be in the distance. That'll tell you the waypoint give you the option to navigate to, or measure the distance to that current waypoint. Now, since we're in pan mode, you'll notice in the upper left hand corner, now the zoom is telling us in order to return to zoom mode, we need to hit the back button. That'll give us the option to begin zooming using the up and down arrow keys again. Now let's talk about how to drop a waypoint at your current location. The easiest way to drop a waypoint is in the lower right hand side of your fish finder. Hit the waypoint button. It will give you the option to either edit the waypoint immediately, delete it, or it will go back to the main screen and you will be able to see it located directly on the spot where your boat icon is located. You have two main ways to edit your waypoints. The first is to simply hit the check mark icon when the waypoint editor shows up. This will bring up the menu for editing your waypoints. Option two is simply hit the menu button in the upper right hand corner of your fish finder, go to waypoints, go to the waypoint that you'd like to edit, and click on edit waypoint. This will bring up the same menu options. Now let's look at all of our menu options we have for editing our waypoints. We can change our waypoint name, the symbol used for our waypoint, the depth, we can input the water temperature, and leave a comment if we desire. First, let's look at how to change the name of our waypoint. All you do is use the up and down arrow key to select the number or letter that you like associated with that waypoint. Now our waypoint's name has been changed to Bass. Now let's change the symbol for our waypoint. We have many options located in this menu from different fish, fuel, flags, pumps, laydowns, ledges, levees, light, lily pads, marina. Best thing to do is just scroll through here and see which one might be applicable to your current waypoint. The depth option will lock in the current depth of the waypoint when you selected it. Same for the current water temperature. Now let's talk about how we add a comment. Simply use the same arrow keys we did to take and name our waypoint to leave any type of comment that you'd like. Another feature that I find especially useful is in the menu settings under search. Simply hit the search button and you can type in the first letter or letters of a waypoint and it will give you a list. This is especially useful if you have a large list of waypoints stored on your fish finder. After learning to set your waypoint, the second most sought after piece of information is how to navigate to your waypoint successfully. 
simply hit the menu button and hit the check mark over waypoints. This will give you the option to scroll down and choose the waypoint that you'd like to navigate to. In this instance, we'll be navigating to Bass. The next screen that pops up will give you the same options to edit, delete, or navigate to waypoint. It also displays the information associated with that waypoint. Simply scroll down to the navigate to and hit the check mark. You're going to want to hit the check mark and select go to. As you can see, in addition to the standard information on the navigation screen, we now have a marked navigation path to a checkered flag located on our waypoint. Also, we have the distance estimated to the destination waypoint along with an estimated arrival time. As you can see, our distance changing the closer we get to the waypoint. Once we arrive, the Striker 4 will let us know that we've arrived at our waypoint. You can stop navigation at any time by hitting the menu button and stop navigation. While in the menu screen, you also have the option to restart going to a specific waypoint or if you'd like to choose a new waypoint to begin navigating towards, all you do is simply go back to your waypoints and select your new waypoint that you'd like to navigate to. If you have a question about something that we didn't cover in this video, be sure to ask down in the comments section. And as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share.